that was a little high, so I don't want to go for it. So I hit a regular backhand, start moving a little bit. Hit the shorter one slower, and I can just hit drop shot. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how I hit my backhand drop shots. I've used this many times in ATP matches, and I feel very confident in this shot. I'm gonna share five tips total, three on what to do and two on what not to do. Then I'm gonna show you a drill to help you practice. If you like these tutorials, please subscribe and comment down below. Let's get into it. The most important part of the drop shot is the grip. I use a continental grip and it's the same for my backhand, serve, slices, and volleys. Because the grip is the same as my backhand, it's very easy to disguise the drop shot so my opponent can't tell if I'm hitting a regular backhand or a drop shot. We'll get into how to disguise the drop shot later on in the video. My grip is pretty loose and only a little firm on impact when I hit it. If it's loose throughout the whole shot, then I feel like it loses stability and is not as solid. But if you're tight throughout the whole shot, you'll probably hit it short. The second tip can apply to almost every shot, but you wanna to try to visualize how the ball travels through the air and the ball's path. A lot of coaches and players focus too much on the technicals and the mechanics of a shot, and I think like in a real match, you don't have time for that, and I play mostly on feel. And when I say visualize, I don't mean physically look at where you wanna hit. You have to mentally have a picture so you know how the ball is gonna fly. It's okay to miss, that's why you feed, and if you're missing a lot, try to think about why you're missing and adjust to that. Third thing to know is when to hit the drop shot. Don't use this shot as a bailout when you're tired. Alex, in one of my previous video, times this shot very well. If you haven't seen that video, it might be helpful for you to watch it. I'll put a link in the description below. You should hit the drop shot when it's slower and shorter inside the court. If you're five feet behind the baseline or if your opponent smacks the ball at you, that's not the right time to hit the drop shot. You're most likely gonna miss. Also, if the ball is above your shoulder, it's also gonna be very difficult to hit. So you want the ball to be slower inside the court and in your strike zone. That's the perfect time to hit a drop shot. It'll be even better if your opponent is far back behind the baseline or off the court. So those are three things that you should do when you hit a drop shot. Let's get into what not to do. The first thing you should not do is try to scoop the drop shot or force it. Don't lean back and try to pop the ball in the air. That's not gonna work. You need to use your body and lean into the shot to use your body weight to help stabilize the shot. So as the ball's coming to you, have your head and upper body still and visualize where you want the ball to go. Let the racket do the work instead of trying to change the racket face all the time. The second thing on what not to do is decelerate the racket. People think drop shot's a touch shot and that means that you have to go slower with the racket. That's not the case. If you do that, then the ball is also most likely gonna be in the net or short. Now that you know the basics, let's get into the drill. To do this drill, you wanna start short and simple. So I have my slice grip or my backhand grip and I'm at the service line to help me get a feel for the ball. All I wanna do is try to feel the racket, feel the ball, feel if it's short or long, good or bad. You can start out all cross court if you want to get the swing right. And my grip is kinda loose in the beginning and then on impact I get a little tighter. It's okay to miss. It's just practice and getting a feel for the ball. And you notice how I'm not moving my upper body or head at all. I stay with the ball. You don't want to look over there because when the ball gets faster, it's gonna be inconsistent. So after this drill, if you think you've, you know, feeling comfortable, maybe you can scoot back and start just feeling the shot again and see how you do. That was a little long. These feet, that was pretty good. 
So just keep working your way back maybe, or you can just go directly to the baseline. Now, since you're on the baseline, it's gonna be a little harder. So you gotta try and move your feet a little more and time it a little better. Still keep your head and your body the same. Don't try to look over there like that, even though that was okay. When the ball comes faster, it's gonna be tough. So you want the ball path to be slow and soft. You don't, want it to you don't want the ball to come too fast off the racket like that. You don't want to hit it too deep or high. Make sure in the, you're in the right position every time. You don't want to be reaching for the ball. Once you think your drop shots are getting pretty good from the baseline, you can start disguising your drop shots. So my grip is the same as my backhand. So all you have to do is let go of your left hand. So I'll show you right now. So you have to make sure you're in position to hit it. You don't want to be reaching or have it too close. And you also have to remember to have the ball inside and slower in the court. That way you can go up and hit it, or you can hit a drop shot and they can't tell what you're gonna do. After you got the feeding down, you can try to implement it in a practice match and then in a real match. So right now I'm gonna play some practice points and see if I can show you when I hit the drop shot. So he looks off the court. That one's a little hard, so I'm gonna wait. That's a little better. I didn't see that ball at all. So you just gotta make sure he's behind the baseline and moving. That one's too deep, so I don't wanna hit a drop shot on that one. A little shorter. Wasn't in position there, so maybe that's why I missed. The ball was a little low. So let's try one more. So you want to get them moving. That was wide, so I didn't want to go for that one. Oh, that was deep. Let's get it back. A little shorter. So the main thing when you're trying to hit a drop shot in a point is recognizing what ball to hit it on. So that one's a little shorter. And you can get to it.